Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice math problem which is 21 to the power of 63 divided by 63 to the power of 21. So let's prevent the solution from here. So now we have 21 raised to the power of 63 divided by, we can express 63 to the power of 21. This is the same thing as 3 multiplied by 21 raised to the power of 21. And you find that 3 times 21 raised to the power of 21, this is in the form of A multiplied by B raised to the power of N which can be expressed as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 21 raised to the power of 63 divided by, here we have 3 to the power of 21 times 21 to the power of 21. This is equal to, now we can express this as 1 over 3 to the power of 21, then multiplying by. Now here we have 21 raised to the power of 63 divided by 21 raised to the power of 21. We have that 21 raised to the power of 63 divided by 21 to the power of 21. This is in the form of a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. And this can be expressed as a to the power of n minus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 1 over 3 to the power of 21 multiplied by 21 raised to the power of, we have sister 3, subtract 21. And this is equal to 1 over 3 to the power of 21 multiplied by 21 raised to the power of 63 minus 21, and this is raised to the power of 40, 42. So here we have 21 raised to the power of 42, divided by 3 to the power of 21. Now, in the numerator here, we can express 21 raised to the power of 42 as 21 raised to the power of this is the same thing as 2 times 21 divided by 3 to the power of 21. Now, we have that 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 21. This can be expressed as, this is in the form of a to the power of n times m, which we can express as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Applying this property, then here we have 21 raised to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 21, divided by 3, raised to the power of 21. Now again here, 21 raised to the power of 2, raised to the power of 21, divided by 3, to the power of 21. This is in the form of a to the power of n over b to the power of n, which we can express as a divided by b raised to the power of n. Now, let's apply this property so that now, here we have, this is the same thing as 21 squared is the same thing as 21 times 21 divided by, here we have 3, then everything raised to the power of 21. So we can simplify here. 21 defined by 3, this is equal to 7. So then we have 21 times 7, this is equal to 147 raised to the power of 21. So this is the final solution here. Now we can solve this math problem. Alternatively, we can solve by applying method 2. Now this is the solution by applying method 1. So let's apply method 2. Now to solve this. So remember we have 21 raised to the power of 63 divided by 63 
raised to the power of 21. So here we have 21. We can express 21 raised to the power of 6 to the 3 as 21 raised to the power of 21 times 3 divided by we have 6 to the 3 raised to the power of 21. So 21 raised to the power of 21 times 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n times m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 21 raised to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 21, divided by 6 to 3, raised to the power of 21. Now, 21 raised to the power of 3, 21 raised to the power of 3, this is the same thing as 21 times 21 times 21. So this means that here we have 21 times 21 times 21 raised to the power of 21. Everything here divided by 6 to 3 raised to the power of 21. Now, we have that 21 times 21 times 21 raised to the power of 21 divided by 6 to 3 raised to the power of 21. This is in the form of a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n, which we can express as a over b raised to the power of n. Now applying this exponent property, then here we have, this is 21 times 21 times 21 divided by, we can express 6 to 3, this is the same thing as 21 times 3. Everything here raised to the power of 21. So you can clearly see here, we can simplify 21 and 21 here. So now we have here, we have that here, 21 times 21 divided by 3. Remember again, we can simplify by 3, by 3, 1. Then 21 divided by 3, this is equal to 7. So clearly, here we have 21 multiplied by 7 raised to the power of 21. And this implies that 21 times 7, this is equal to 147 raised to the power of 21. And therefore, this is the solution by applying method 2. So both method 1 and method 2 use the same same solution so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now